Good morning and welcome to uh, Vlogmas Day 16. <laughs> it is Vlogmas Day December 16th. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm losing track of my days. <laughs> okay, I am sitting out on the patio and um, I've already got a mask on and it is the um, the body shop called Mediterranean Almond Milk with Oats and I had found this one and then another one ginseng rice uh, body shop at TJ Maxx and they were like $7.99 which is a great great deal so if you ever see these at TJ Maxx jump on them um, I don't know if they're on Amazon or not. If not, uh, if they are, I'll put a link down below. But uh, yeah, so I'm letting this sit all over my face, down to my neck, because I do, and I'm gonna answer this right now, or not answer it. Um, uh, I was sitting here and I went with my first cup of coffee. I'm on my second now, can you tell? <laughs> Cheers. Mm. But on my first cup, I came out and, um, my friend Vicki Marie was vlogging this morning. She's doing a, a vlogmas uh, every a video every day, and she had a mask on. And she was talking about how she saw me sitting there with the mask, watching my friends, which is what I do every day. I um, I do some form of mask every single day, whether it's exfoliating or moisturizing. I think it just helps, or sometimes it may be just eye mask. Um, but I feel that for my skin at 63 and a half, um, that, you know, especially in the different weather, I mean, it is so, there's not a, it was so windy yesterday, there's not a bit of breeze today, and it's already like 74 degrees today, and it's not even 9 o'clock in the morning, so it's going to be, I think we're dropping 20 degrees after tonight, if I'm not mistaken, hopefully. Because, you know, it's really hard to film winter videos when you're sweating. It's not fun. So, yeah. So, I'm just sitting out here watching videos. And I'm going to turn you around. I don't know in there out there. The dogs are out there roaming around. But the squirrels are on the house over there. And th there's three of them. Let's see if I can catch them. They're just having a heyday over there. Well, of course, they're camera shy. They're jumped in the trees and everything, but they have just been going at it all morning long. So, our trees are not completely done yet. We won't mow and get mulch the leaves until they are all done. So, yeah, this is a delayed winter here. So, some of the trees, like over there, they are not theirs. That's the same. These are the... Um, these trees, these big ones, are uh, Bartlett pears, and yeah, they just get so big, and they're not very strong, hence why this one is so, after so many storms, has been damaged so many times, so yeah, so, all right, so, I'm hearing, I must be the dogs that I'm hearing, they're out there wandering around in the leaves, they love doing that. So I'm going to finish sitting here watching uh, some videos and enjoying my mask and my coffee. And I will check back on you when I'm ready for some breakfast. Okay, good morning again. Yes, I'm here um, getting ready to have my breakfast. I'm going to show you. But first, I'm going to show you. I just took my blood pressure. Okay, not good. Here's my breakfast. Um, egg in the hole, as we call them here, and a banana. So, uh, so yeah, so I've already taken my blood pressure pill. I took it about 30 minutes ago, so hopefully it'll kick in because that number's not optimal. <laughs> so, it feels like it's a struggle. The struggle is real. <laughs> uh, that's what the cardiologist said. My biggest job was to keep my blood pressure under control. I'm trying so hard. I'm trying. So, okay, I'm going to eat my breakfast, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. 
All right, I just finished my look for the day, look du jour. Um, you know, I kind of talked briefly yesterday about, you know, asking everybody if you, um, do you plan it out, what you're going to wear, or do you um, just sit down and start uh, putting your makeup on? Um, I had a little thought process of yesterday after I was doing mine. I'm like, you know, I want to give some love to some old favorites that I haven't touched in a while. So uh, I did that today. So uh, I pulled out, um, I, I did, you know, foundation, you know, all the stuff regular and everything. I brought out my Hula bronzer. I haven't touched this little sucker in forever. And, you know, it's such a perfect, you know, little bronzer. And it makes a wonderful uh, transition shade for your eyeshadow as well, too. And it's great for contouring. Uh, so I poured that out. So when I was grabbing that, of course, right next to it was the Rocketeer blush. And I haven't had this one out for a little while. And it's such a pretty um, uh, nude pink um, blush. Very, very subtle. So I pulled that out. And then I thought, well, what, what kind of eyeshadow was I going to do? And I pulled this palette out. I've had it for a long time. This is the Tardis Pro To Go. And you can tell I've it's had some love on it. Uh, so, and that mirror is dirty. Ooh, goodness. Okay, maybe I need to clean that off. Okay, there's a Kleenex right there. I'll take care of that right now. Looks much better, doesn't it? Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, so I use this little palette on my eyes today. And my eye is already leaking from allergies. Oh, my goodness, see that? I got leaky eye syndrome. <laughs> and I use waterproof mascara on the bottom lashes. I always use the uh, just a little bit of the Wet n Wild Mega Link waterproof mascara on my bottom lashes just for this because this eye just leaks, leaks, and leaks all the time. So what did I do on my lips? Oh. One I haven't had out in a while. It is my Chanel Mademoiselle number 434. Um, it's just kind of a dark nude. Um, it looks darker, I think, in the tube than it does on the lips. So, but yeah. Of course, Chanel's lipstick are just absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. Set and comfortable and creamy and all that good stuff so all right so there's my look so i'm gonna go get some stuff done and i'll check back in with you in a little bit all right i am dressed now and i'm ready to go run some errands so i thought i'd show you really quick what i'm wearing first i'm going to show you these earrings these are just some that i thrifted um a while back uh, I don't know the brand on them, but they're stain they're sterling silver, and then they've got little gemstones, multicolored gemstones, and I have a ring that goes with that as well too, but I'm not wearing it today. I am wearing this lovely little green, it's a kind of a sage green, uh, button up camp shirt I call it, uh, by Zara. So let me turn you around. There it is. And just some straight-legged jeans. And because of the green, I pulled out my little Sam Edelman uh, calf hair uh, ballet uh, flats that are in ca a camo print. I don't know if I can get close enough for you can see the camo print or not. How about I do that? There you go. There's a good shot of them. So, yeah. So, this is the outfit for the day. I'm going to go run some errands. Where am I? There I am. And uh, then... I've got some editing to do um, and just some different things to do today. So I'll catch up with you in just in a little while. All right. I just ran to the store to get uh, a couple of things and uh, came back and it is lunchtime. I am starving. So I fixed June's outside. She's wanting me and I've got the screen door open um, or the screen, just the screen door open. So I thought I'd show you what I'm having for lunch right quick. I've got the little uh, mini bell peppers again with the laughing cow cheese. And then uh, two boiled eggs with just a little bit of salt and pepper. And then a Granny Smith apple and uh, peanut butter. But it's the, I use the PB2 peanut butter. 
and I use two tablespoons of this and then add water to get it to the consistency, which is usually just maybe about a tablespoon, really. But I love peanut butter with Granny Smith because it's so they're so tart. And with the peanut butter, I just absolutely love it. So it's a pretty good sized lunch. So I'm going to watch some videos while I take a break and eat some lunch. All right. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you what we're having for dinner tonight. Yes, it's leftover chicken pot pie. <laughs> Imagine that. But it still will be so good. I love leftovers. So, um, yeah, I'm going to turn you better. All right, I'm waiting for Santa Baby to get home. And then we'll do the advent calendars. But before, real quick, I wanted to mention... Um, I was on uh, Amazon uh, today looking around at some stuff, and I found something I thought I would share with you. Now, this is as of this moment, these are there. Um, do, do you already start shopping for next year for Christmas for gifts um, early? So here are, you know, I'm a big fan of scarves. So here are some scarves that are about half price and they're on Prime. So I wanted to share a picture right here and then I've got the link down below for you uh, in case you want to take advantage of this for some gifts for next year maybe. Or, you know, if you're in a crunch for some little gifts right now, but, you know, uh, for as nice as they are for the price, you can't beat them. Okay, <laughs> we filmed the advent calendar openings, and it, and I don't know what happened. It just, it didn't, it didn't take. So, um, yeah, so here, let me turn this around. Here is the wine. It's a Pinot Grigio, and the cheese is a um, Gouda with red pesto. And, of course, I've already eaten it, half of it. And then there's the chocolate. I haven't eaten it. There's the napkin. And the cheese already had there, so I'm very sorry. So, all right, so I messed that up. So, um, we'll do another one tomorrow night. Good night, everybody. <laughs> it's been a long day.